Boys and girls, welcome to today's second lesson in HTML. And I just wanted to say that in the last lesson that we constructed our web page using Notepad. And we got our Notepad by going to Start. And it's the inborn, it's the native, find it almost everywhere. Notepad. You just type in Notepad and you find that you can tie, open it up and you can put this code in. So if I copied this code over here into notepad it's what we did last time we just put in what's called the html tags chrome firefox safari whatever you are using to get onto the internet would read this page as html hypertext markup language so that's the code and then you'll see that we mentioned in the last lesson that html's got start and ending tags the ending tags are always shown with this forward slash. That forward slash that you see on your screen over there is an indicator that that's the end of those tags. So you've got a head. If you look over here, within the head part of my HTML, I've got head. And then I've got the title, which is called my game. And then I've got the body over here. So if I had to take that part out, and it's in an iframe, if I take that part out and I had to show this, I would go to save it. I'd go file. This is called the body part. You can see the body's also got a beginning and an end. And the H1 is just showing it's a heading. And I think you get the second one with a second heading would be H2. And it goes consecutively like that. So H2 would mean heading number two, my mash game. Because I wanted to show you guys how to put Purple Mash games into your code. It's quite exciting because we're going to actually do Scratch games in our code. And very often people say, wow, how did you get a Scratch game in your code? And we could even mimic a web page back onto an Android device. But we'll investigate how that would be done. Because there's some quite interesting programs that allow you to feed from an outside website. So you've got H2. Is showing it's a mash game and the headings these are the headings h1 and h2 so we've got two headings now how do i save an html file well it's so easy because all you've got to do is go to file and we all know that the native format for this particular notepad native format means the natural way that notepad would save a file is a text file so it'll save every single file that it saves it's going to have a txt at the end of it so you have to indicate that you don't want to follow the normal way of doing it you want this to be saved as html because if i just press save it won't save it it's going to save it automatically as text file by default they call that by default it's the natural way of doing it and you have to say look i'm not following the natural way I'd like you to save it as a web page. So I go like this, file, save as, and we'll go to desktop. On our computer, desktop is over here, and that's going to be where we're going to save our page. And I'm going to go desktop, and I'm going to type over here the name of the file. I'm going to call it a purple mash link or page, and it's HTML. And notice there's a dot or a full stop and then HTML called your extension. So you are indicating, look, I don't want you to follow the normal default as a text file. We want a HTML file. And we're telling it, and I'm just going to go and save it now. So I just go and save it, save. And now I've saved a web page. I'll just close this for the moment. Let's go to desktop. And you can see, look, all the web pages that are over here. So what did I call it again? Purple Mash Game. And you can see straight away it's got the, uh, the Chrome icon. Why has it got a Chrome icon? The reason is Chrome is my default browser. But had I set my default browser to Edge or to any of the other browsers like Safari or Firefox or any other program that you used to get on the internet you'd see a different icon here but chrome is pretty good so what i'm going to do is click on it i'm going to click on it and open my web page look over there a heading says this is mr b game and my mash game so i've got two headers and if i wanted to see the code 
behind this page, if I want to go and look behind it and see the code behind it, I right click and I go to view page source. And you can see there's my code, HTML, my game, and it's all come up again. And it even gives the line numbers. Now, what happens when your browser opens this? It's going to pass through each line. So it'll read the HTML. It's, oh, this is an HTML file. Then it'll read the head. Then it'll read the title. And it'll go through that, passing through it one in the beginning to all the way to the end. Okay, they call that passing. It just goes, it reads it from the top all the way down. Now we get to, you guys have seen how the HTML would look. If I close this, that's how it looks. That's the front end of it. And the back end would be that, the HTML tags. Now comes the interesting part. How do we put our Purple Mash game into it? Well, Purple Mash gives us an embed. So if you go to Purple Mash, I'm going to just show you very, very briefly. Purple Mash is a really cool program because some of these can be fed into a web, web page and people think, wow, you must have done amazing computer science, but what you're doing is just understanding how to feed information into it. And they are, they'll think, gee, that is so amazing. A lot of people use these. You know, the off, very often when you make a game that uses Google's Maps, a lot of people are using what's called an API where they and you can feed it into your program. So let's show you how to feed your Purple Mash activity in. And I'm going to first of all go to one of my bits of work. So I'll just go over here. If you go to this, here's a test. And you can already see it's something that I've made. Even that one card game that you've got in Purple Mash, some people I've seen playing a similar card game. If I go to the share, this is the magic part, the share. They say, you can share it with someone. And look over here. Here's the to-do. Here's email. Here's blog. But over here it says, post to a display board or share using a link, a QR or HTML embed code. Wow, they give you an embed code. So that means you can feed your Purple Mesh stuff into your own web page. Now, look over here. If you go to this part of you can see there's your link with your QR code, display boards, and embed. So just find this one where it says iframe. So once you've done that, you just copy that. So I'm going to open it, and I'm going to open it up with Notepad, and have a look over here. I've got an iframe from Purple Mesh. I've copied that little bit of code. I've selected it, and I've just pasted it in the which part of my HTML. It's in the body section. So what you do is just copy it. It's just a matter of copy and paste. And then you go file, save as. What type of page is this going to be? My HTML example to computer club. And I'm going to call it dot or full stop HTML. And then I'm going to go and save it to my desktop again. Close it. And let's see how it works. It says Look here, here it is. I'm going to open it up. And look, it's loading. Purple Mesh. Now, if someone reads your page, if I click on it, start, there, I can actually bring in my Purple Mesh game and play it. can even make things bigger. Everything works. Look, in Purple Mesh, remember that if you press the up arrow key, it makes it bigger. Down arrow key makes it smaller. So there we go. You've got... Now, if I want to make it a little bit more dynamic, because it's a bit, you know, you don't really see anything yet, I could put a little, a few more instructions in it. So let's just go and find it again, and I'm going to open it, open it, and I'll just copy that. Just close this, go back to the desktop. I'm going to open this in Notepad. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to bring in in my header over here. I'm going to make a header in the body section called H1. Remember, this is me in a header. Try my game. And I'm going to go H1 over like that. And then underneath the actual game, underneath the iframe, if you go like this, P, what does that stand for? P, paragraph. Good. 
Now, I think in HTML5, guys, I'm a little bit rusty with HTML, but I think HTML5, you don't even need to put the ending for the paragraph. And this over here means break, line break. So that'll mean that you're going to have a line break. So this is an interesting game that I made in Purple Mesh. I'm just going to type anything. You can, you are to, to construct a flower. So I'm just putting anything in. I'm going to end my paragraph like that but i don't even think you need to have this ending with so it depends on if you know something you can really do magic with it it's just a matter of you being having the ability to kind of use it okay so what i'm going to do now is remember the full stop html and then you're going to just save it on your desktop and then you're going to feed it into your your purple mash game will feed into it with this this iframe um text over here so what i'd like you to do is try see if you can do that when you've got a little bit of time reflect on the video that you've seen and also try see if you can build a game that goes into html as well what am i going to open it with notepad and there you got my game you can see look over here here's my html you got the instructions try my game now in purple mesh are you guys all with me? Have you all got your HTML? Do you want me to just show you what we have here? Okay, so just copy that so you guys have got that. Doesn't matter if you haven't got this code. But if you have got a game in Purple Mash that you could use, you can, even one of your projects, anything, just put it in there. So copy that down and without copyright limits. I know that my videos aren't the most exciting ones, but we're just testing code now. So you guys can find something far more exciting. Now this is a artificial intelligence music that we got when we did one of our lessons so we'll just see if we can get that into our web page i took the url copy the embed code and let's have a look my video you're not going to be as excited as you would have been if you had seen the world cup soccer it's loading it looks there we go all right so so if you look at my video because it's open you can see it's it's now playing we can see that our video is playing i've turned sound off so you can hear and that's this is the artificial intelligence music that we took from one of the from juke deck uh, used to to make music so listen to it sounds great okay and i thought it was very very meditational and it, it was a ad advertisement for our youtube video so you guys could make your own videos you could tell jokes you could you could great create a little app and a web page that is is basically feeding in video and you've also got you can make games so you can all already make a purple mesh game you can feed it in do remember one thing what i said earlier guys if it doesn't work remember the synchronization aspect of of google you'll fi find there's embed codes in so many places okay i'm gonna go to google maps let's just see what we can get in there We'll go in here and we'll type in Brian Evan again. Brian Evan, primary, primary. And you guys can put your home address. Are we going to get it? There we go. Brian Evan Primary School. We, uh, we've even got some photos. There's Rick. Rick's there. Wow. Isn't that Rick there? Yes, Rick. Does look like Rick. I don't know. No, no, mate. It's not Rick. Maybe I'm not. Look over here. It says share. Do you remember he had a, on that video, it showed something with share. So let's have a see. Copy link. Okay, so we got a link. Look here, guys. Embed. Do you see that? Embed a map. So look over here. We've they've given us an iframe. Aha. Copy HTML. So what you can do is when you go into Google Maps, you can take the map and we can go to our web page. So let's just take out our HTML. I'm going to open it with Notepad again, and I'm going to take out actually the after the video, the YouTube video. I'm going to put in a map. So let's just put that. And it's also got an iframe. So look over here. There you got your game that you guys have embedded. And we've demonstrated you can watch a video. And look, here's the map. I wonder if it's interactive. It's got the interactivity. Look, at you zoom in? I can zoom in really close. And it's showing me the maps. You might even find that with a little bit of extra work. Said, look, I'm making satellite. I'm making even satellite that you can zoom in. And with satellite imagery, 
So it's on my... And I think that's quite remarkable. And it's Brian Evan Primary. I don't, I, I'm just... Uh, I, I've got lost already. So you guys can already do that. And you can set Google Earth as part of your web page as well. Or you build a little website saying how to get to your house. Map, satellite imagery... You, I'm going to show you your HTML. You guys are welcome to just play around. Here's the actual page source. We'll make it a bit bigger. And I think you understand that there's Purple Mash. There's our iframe for the YouTube video. I think we'll leave it at that point.